Alrighty guys, we are back into Fable for what is going to be episode 3. And it's been about a week since I played because I had a hell of a work schedule. That's why there wasn't a lot of videos. Might as well pick up this apple. But we are back, and I believe we just gotta keep doing our guild training, right? You've really shown Whisper. Right, this melee combat against Whisper counts. Didn't I already do this? No, I already did it. Yeah, I already did all this. Why? Well, I'm not gonna do it again. That's the dude who wants me to shoot the birds. And I already did all this with the race, right? Nah, yeah, I already did it. All right, let's just go talk to the dude. Do you wish to leave your teenage years behind and progress on to fi ah, your final training? Yes. The boy mastered the skills quickly, but there was always more to learn. For years, the guild was his home, his school, and his life. But as time passed, his thoughts returned always to the world outside. The life he had lost, the family that had been torn from him. At last, only the final day of tests remained. Success would mark the end of his training. He would receive the guild seal and be free to forge his own destiny. He would become a hero. Before you All right. Train, there is one final test you must complete. Enter the guild woods and go to the log at the top of the hill. The test will be revealed to you there. Good hmm. Alright. No, I'm not gonna do all the grading shit. I already did it all. I suppose you're wondering how you pass the final test then. It's simple. You must defeat me, using all you've mm. learned in your years of training. And we'll begin with your sword. Hit me. It would help cast. if I remember the controls. Okay, I remember. A good strike. Come on. Very good. Now, shoot. Oop, did not mean to do that. A good strike. He's not even fighting back. So it's like, how's this really like training? Excellent, and finally, cast lightning at me. Is there a reason it's not counting all those? That's enough. Yes, quite impressive for a novice. You will find real battles rather more fatal than this. But you have passed your final test. We didn't do anything. And you're ready to receive your guild seal <laughs> from the guild master. We did absolutely nothing to defeat him. We, he literally just stood there and took it. That's funny. But if you say we passed it, then who am I to argue?
Well, this is the day, lad. I remember the first night you came to us. And look at you now. Maze's faith in you was well placed. Now come along. The graduation ceremony will take place in the Chamber of Fate. The oldest part of the guild. Sweet. Let the apprentices approach. Only the two of us passed. Now you have worked hard to earn yourselves the title of hero. Today, that apprenticeship ends and you go out into the world to do great deeds. Deeds that will bring you the gratitude of thousands. Look at the scars on my face. strike fear into their hearts. These are dark times. The shadows of Albion are stirring, and strange winds are blowing. Your choices, whether they lead you down the path of good or evil, will change the face of the world. Now, take your guild seals and venture forth as heroes. I love how they're openly okay with us possibly being evil. It's like, yeah, if you choose to do it, that's cool. Whatever. We can't stop you. What is? It's time for you to leave us then. But you're still very much part of the guild. On the map table, you will find details of any quests the people of Albion wish heroes to perform. And you'll need to return often to focus all your experience into new skill. Only by doing this regularly will you advance as a hero. Step into the light and I'll show you how to do this. Alright. So it's going to show us the leveling up system. Okay. Physique dictates the force that which you can swing a weapon and thus the amount of damage you can cause. With greater strength also comes the ability to wield heavier weapons. Okay, health. Healthier are the more damage you can take. It's pretty simple. Toughness is your basic resistance to damage your natural armor. The tougher you are, the less damage you will take from each blow. Okay. So it tells us... How many points it'll cost. Okay, let's upgrade our physique. Why? I'm a little confused. Why did the fist go down? The red meter. Oh shit, there's a lot more. There's the skill, your speed, accuracy, your guile. Ah, oh, damn, I didn't know this. I should have hit right trigger. Okay, and this is all uh, magic. Not really all magic, but some. I have a feeling I'm not going to be doing a lot of magic, to be honest. We'll see, though. I feel like I'm definitely going to be more of a melee. There is little else for me to teach you, but I will always be around to offer you guidance. And your guild seal will allow me to communicate with you at all times. You will also notice it flashing when you have enough experience to spend. I have given you a basic pack of supplies. It'll be enough for a while. Now there's a whole world for you to explore. Achievement, the graduation. Your student loan has ended. It will be years before you can buy a house, but hey, you graduated. Now, one of the things I always loved about uh, Fable games with achievements is that their achievements always have funny. A lot of times they have funny um descriptions. 
Okay, we got resurrection, two resurrection files, a lamp, two health potions, a will potion, apple pie. He gave us zero money, 58, whatever that is. Yada, yada, yada. To take a quest, interact with the map table. Core story quests are highlighted with the icon. Check the guild for more quests. Okay, so minion camp. Snow Troll Attack, Suppress Uprising, and Wasp Menace. Now, that's the story mission because it has the icon next to it, but... I have to do it. Because I don't have enough renown, so we're going to do Wasp. Follow the arrow region exits on your map to get to the location of your quest. Your inventory contains further details of any quest you have taken. Remember, press back at any time to see your current objectives. Let's take a look. End the picnic area infestation. Alright, I mean, simple enough. Kind of wish they had a fast travel, but you know. Early fable years. I, I believe the later Fable games you can fast travel at certain points. I believe. It's been so long since I played Fable. Following the gold markers on your map will lead you to your quest objective. Wasps are attacking the picnic area. Follow me. Follow How convenient. That's exactly where I was going. Well, before I go there, who are these guys? Used to be an adventurer like yourself, but look at me now. Begging to survive, and you must yeah. be able to get rid of him somehow. Anything will do. You little snot bag, you know nothing of the world. Ah, you're as bad as that stinking. <laughs> it leader. worked. Funniest thing I've seen in years. You've earned my thanks, hero. I'm sure you'll make many friends in your travels. Perhaps we'll meet again, hero. Perhaps. Plus 20. All right, I'm coming. You're very impatient. Please. The picnic area. Oh my god. That dude's getting destroyed. Good lord, they killed him! Alright, quest start, wasp menace. Rewards, 500 gold, 200. I think that's renown. Kill all the wasps in the picnic area. Ah, what just happened? Alright guys, you might notice that there is a jump cut there and we are now back to the beginning of the quest. That is because, as you saw, the game actually froze on me. My Xbox froze. Uh, it's not the first time that this happened in this game, it's already the second time it's happened. But, um, yeah. Luckily, the autosave saved right when this quest started, so we didn't really lose any progress. That's I just had to make a quick separate video and merge them together. And, without further ado, let's try again and see if we can do this quest without, uh, the game freezing. That 
Come here. Oh. Oh, big mama. Strike down the wasps. Your bow may prove useful against uh -uh. the wasp queen. That was easy. Oh. Yes, everybody come worship me. <laughs> Even bowed. I got a wasp queen head. Sweet. What I just do? Oh, I can teleport. Ah, oh, cool. You we'll do that in a minute, though. So, how do I? Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. No, don't go. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Why'd you do that to me? Maze is waiting for you at Bowerstone Tavern, which could be reached from Lookout Point. Well, I'll do that later. Let's look at our equipment. I got no gloves. They're literally the same thing. <laughs> I got a trophy for that uh, achievement. <laughs> That's cool. Alright, so we'll fast travel to the place. To our Heroes Guild so that we can uh, upgrade. Try flirting, offering gifts, or using other attractive expressions to get to know them and build up your relationship. Ah. Uh, for when I eventually want to find a wife. We'll worry about that a little bit later. Oh, now this one looks promising. Who's this? Oh, hello. You must be the kid Maze is always talking about. Can't imagine what he sees in you. Still, I suppose Maze knows best. But where are my manners? I'm Briar Rose. No doubt you've heard of me. No time for autographs, I'm afraid. I have to get to Knothole Glade for an important mission. 
Speaking of which, if you came for a quest card, all the best ones have gone already. I'm sure the guild can find you something to do, though. I hear the kitchens need cleaning. Ah, screw you. I thought you were going to be cool. Maze is looking for you. He waits for you in the Barstone Tavern. Still not a high enough renown level. Well, I guess we gotta do the maze mission. But first, we upgrade. We upgrade and see what we can get up. I do want to upgrade health first. Like, that's important. Okay. Speed. I do want to upgrade speed as well. Let's upgrade Guile. We're going to hold off on everything else for now. Alright, let's go. So we're back at lookout point now. <laughs> Apparently your wife can actually leave you in this game. It's funny. Okay, let me save. Thank you. And we gotta go back up to... I guess we're going to Bowerstone now, so... How is this? Huh, guess we'll have to go down there for something later. For now, I just want to go up to the mission. Oh, sorry. What am I, what what's happening? Well, I just have to. I'm just gonna go ahead and load. Completely screwed that up. I wasn't like I don't know how to put your weapon away. That's what I'm trying to figure out. How do you put the weapon away? I don't remember how to do it. That is an issue I have with so many games. It's like, how do you freaking put weapons away? Ah, we can. We have a flirting expression. Hey, hey, hey! No, shut up. God 
damn it. Let's just go. I'm done with this. I did not mean to shoot that stupid guard. Gotta go find Maze in the tavern, so. Oi! You're new here, aren't you? Nope. We have some rules around here that you need to know about. Bowerstone is a peaceful town. Uh, I'll have to confiscate your weapons for now. There are shops, inns, lots of different people, games, <laughs> all kinds of things. Why not pay the tavern a visit first? It's the building in front of you, just up the road from here. Oh, and keep an eye open for Lady Grey. Treat her with respect. She is the mayor, after all. Can I make her my wife? Have a look around, and enjoy your stay in Bowerstone. Obey the law. There's Maze. Over here. All right, let's see if we can get rid of some of this crap in our inventory. I need to go to sell, so... They should really tell you what you have equipped and what you don't. What are you selling? All right, so I can only sell him weapons. The wasp killer, nifty bit of work that. So hoping there'd be like a clothing person I can sell to. Apparently you can get into the tavern through there somehow. ever playing stupid card games in these things, so sorry. What can I trade with this dude? Do you want my clothes? Nope, he only trades items. Okay. Well, I didn't actually try selling, so maybe I should do that next time. Ready to help. I can sell him the Wasp Queen Ed. But I want to hold on to that for now. Alright. Who is this beautiful lady right here? 
I can't talk to her. Okay. Hello. Hello. Sorry, Maze. Ignoring you. Going this way. Who can I talk to all the way over here? Whoever's over here has been like running around. Oh, can't jump. And he's all the way up here. He or she. Oh, really? You get stuck on the stupid stairs? Come on. Oh god, what did I just walk into? A teacher? Oh, hello. Forgive me. I'm Mr. Gout, the headmaster of the school here. Not that it's much of a school these days, the way Lady Grey keeps slashing her funding. Can you believe she sold half our library? As if mansions were more important than the education of our children. Anyway, if you could donate. Alright, so if I find any books, give it to him. Dude, you're a bad teacher. You keep running around everywhere the way you are. All right, let's go talk to Maze. I'm sure he's dying to hear from us. And then after we talk to him, we might have to end this episode here. Well, hello. Been enjoying all the attention, have you? Yes. I heard about your encounter with the Wasp Queen. Thanks. Most of Bowerstone is talking about it. <laughs> but, um, you shouldn't let that kind of thing go to your head. There's two people anyway, standing behind me clapping. That's not why I called you here. You see, there are dark forces gathering that put your giant insect to shame. Tell me, how much do you remember of the night I took you to the guild? Of the raid on Oakfell? Not much, I wager. A most terrible night. I thought those bandits had killed your whole family, and that you were going to be next. But it seems there may have been another survivor. My sister? Your sister. Yep. I'm afraid it's only a rumor, and there's no way to be certain yet, but I thought you should know. And for pity's sake, boy, make sure you replace that basic equipment while you're here. They didn't have anything better. Check the guild for more quests. Quick! Follow me! Jesus, kid. What's this? Alright, guess I'm following her. Sorry if you guys heard that. I freaking had a hiccup there. <laughs> She's waving at me. Oh, woe is me. My son is poorly. It's me boy. My poor little boy. We were on a picnic at Lookout Point when he found these... These strange mushrooms. He's doing shrooms. The witch in Bowerstone Key says we shouldn't worry. But she needs more of the mushrooms before she can cure him. Uh, of course she does. I will find them myself, but I need to look after Aldi. Please, could you help us? Okay, I'll look after the boy. You go get him. This way. Follow me. All right, so that's done. Did that actually give me a mission? Yes, it does. Okay. I don't need to sleep yet. Oh, 
God dang, I can't walk out the freaking door. Not so fast, sunshine. You're not allowed in there. Oh. Well, all right then. What's this? Oh, it's a college gate. Well, I found it. So Heroes Guild is still the only one that appears, but since I found it, I mean, it should be fine, right? Dang it, I didn't mean to walk into it. Hello. Okay, so a child has fallen sick in Barristone after eating strange magic. Can you help the kid get better? Current objective: talk with the witch. Uh, talk with the witch in Bowerstone Quays. So where the hell is that at? Quit calling me Chicken Chaser. Get out of my way. Whoop, did not mean to walk in the here. What are you getting stuck on? You get stuck on everything. We'll go talk to the lady, the witch, and then we'll end this episode. The Bowstone Quay. Is this the witch? No, don't tell me. You were sent here by an irritating young lady. The one with the comatose kid. Don't look so surprised. I am a witch, you know. I read tea leaves on Thursdays. Besides, you're not the first fool she sent my way. Find me four blue mushrooms, and I can brew up an antidote. There's no hurry. The stuff won't kill him. <laughs> the little tyke's probably having the time <laughs> of his life. This is all the references. So many references. But it still doesn't really tell me, like, what to do. It just says in the land of Albion. So, I mean, I guess I just gotta find him during my travels. Hello there. I don't think you've met my daughter, have you? She's rather lovely, if I say so myself. Though a bit fussy. Oh, empty there. She's keen to meet strong, handsome men like you. Uh... I guess. Ah, that's good news. Thing is, she only looks men whose hair looks like the picture on this card. Okay, okay. Maybe if you looked like that, she'd let me introduce you to her. Come and find me when you're. All right. Let's just go up here first, get out of this area. I don't know where the hell to find a barber. Alright, we will be ending this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and as always, I'll be seeing you for more soon, later on. Have a good one.